Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, fabulous. This is Angela, and I have got questions for you. What opens with um, the honeymooners, us, us getting a definition from the from the doctor about a honeymoon? Honey for sweetness, and, and the moon for the romance. It's supposed to be sweet romance. And what closes with one of the uh, uh, men saying that he can see himself falling in love with his wife. If you guessed Married at First Sight, Season uh, 6, Episode 4, you're correct. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and sticking around to see how we get from opening to closing. I'm Angela, and the channel is Be Fabulous You. Let us proceed. Okay, so we have um, Jacqueline and Ryan. Remember, that's, that couple has, has sexed. They've had sex. Then we have Sean Neese and Jeff D, and he kind of in this mode where he like, I don't know her. I don't know her. And then we have Molly and John, and John just feels like Molly is perfect. Perfect, perfection, perfecto. He loving him Somali. Not loving her, but he 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 loving him Somali. Okay, so then we got um I like Shanice's black swimsuit with all them strings. You know, we didn't get no pole shot, but it was very cute to me. Okay, so we're in Ocho Rios, um, Jamaica. It's day three of the people having been married at first sight. That means they've been knowing each other for three days. They was married on day one, day zero, and now it's day three. So we got Jackie and Ryan. Um, the doctor tells us that, you know, honeymoon is sweetness and romance. And um, Black Daddy hopes they can... Black Daddy, I don't know what that is, hopes that they can overcome the stranger factor and get to know each other. Maybe that's the black therapist. Was I calling him Black Daddy? Hey, Black Daddy, like Cat Daddy. Um, but, you know, the Reverend Therapist, Reverend Dr. Therapist. Um, Molly becomes, Molly says that she's becoming more and more attracted to John. Um, she says that we're married, but I'm not comfortable having sex yet, eventually. And John is just blown away by Molly's greatness and her personality. And he feels that losing his job, um, Louis, Louis, uh, Losing his job was worth it, and he is um, he's done fun things before by himself alone, but now he has a partner. Yes, everybody is happily ever after on day three, right? Well, they are. And then we have Jacqueline and Ryan. They're heading out, and Ryan says that um, they're doing great. He's excited. He's um, taking Jackie to fulfill her dream of swimming with the dolphins. And um, she says it's been on her bucket list since she was a little girl. Since when do little girls make bucket lists? Isn't that like, this is what I want to do before I kick the bucket? But since she was a little girl, she wanted to swim with the dolphins. And now her husband is making it come true. Um, she says she loves her some Ryan even more now that he's making her dreams come true. Um, we see Shawnee's and Jefting, and they are um, climbing the waterfalls, not chasing waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. They're climbing the waterfalls. And uh, Miss Shawnee is excited. Um, she's trying to get to know him and to have him get to know her. And he is super cautious, which is a theme. Um, she's excited for the future. Um, and, and Je uh, Jeff D, he's like, oh my gosh, the waterfall looks da um, dangerous. I'm more on the cautious side. And we're like, yeah, we know Jeff D. <laughs> no, Jeff D, no. Um, he thinks that they complement each other. So that's positive. He can see how they complement each other. They're not exactly alike, but they're like a complementary duality. Um, and they reach the top and they give each other a hug. But it's like that old toot your, your booty out church hug where you, you know, but you got your, you're not touching in the genital area at all. And then they give each other a real hug. So I'm like, okay, there might be some hope for them after all. Okay, so we're still on day three of the marriage. Dr. Pepper, who's the older white woman, um, is, is hoping that they'll get to know each other. And we all are, aren't we? We all are. We see Molly and John, and they're at a couple's massage. Now, she, Miss Molly, has never had a massage before, nor does she like being touched by strangers. I guess that's why she never had a massage before. Who's never, have you ever, I, who's never had a massage? How old was I when I got my first massage? I guess I was grown. Maybe 25, 26. 
22. I don't know how old I was. I'm like, oh, anyway, I have to think about that because I was like, she's never had a massage before. Um, John um, says, you know, she's uncomfortable. She's never had a massage before. Um, and he says that he is trying to make her comfortable with him. And um, he's um, learn about her and build our relationship the right way. He's willing maybe to learn about her and build their relationship the right way. And then, um, Molly and John, um, Molly says that John is very understanding and made it clear that her comfort is his first priority. So what's not to love? They in love. Everybody look like they doing good. Then we go back to Miss J um, Jacqueline and Ryan there on the beach. And one thing Ryan wanted to change was um, being alone. You know, he feels like his life is wonderful and great. And the one thing he wanted to change was being alone. And now he has Jackie. Last year, this time, she says that she was not in the best place. But the hubby does not ask a follow-up question like, well, what do you mean? What, what was going on that you weren't in the best place? He's just like, oh, okay, well, you're in the best place now. All right, let's go. Because I was kind of, you know. And she's referring to the fact that um, she, um, uh, uh, 1.5 years ago, her boyfriend died, but he never follows up with her. And she tries, you know, so it kind of brings her down thinking about it. And then she tries to, like, play a game. Like, make, she makes up some stupid game to try to lighten the mood and lift her spirits. And um, he thinks that the game is boring and corny. And, um, uh-oh, it's kind of like a moment of tension. And I'm like, is there a break in paradise? And then we have, um, we're on all the way to day five of the marriage. Um, and Pastor Calvin that's uh, Pastor Daddy, Black Daddy, Pastor Calvin is his name. He mentions that all of the couples have um, the support of each other. So they're doing, you know, that they're all in the same resort. And, you know, no one knows what it's like to be married at first sight, except for someone who's been married at first sight. So they have the support of each other. They're all in the same resort. And today at three o'clock, they have an excursion. So Molly and John, um, she's in her Mrs. Tank Top, and he's in his husband established 2017 sport looking um, um, T-shirt thingy. And then they meet up with Jeff D and Shanice, and um, they're joined later by Jackie and John, or shortly thereafter by Jackie and John. And Molly is like, you know, in her interview, you know, you can tell that Ryan and Jacqueline have clicked, you know, um, and because, you know, Jackie is touching Ryan's arm and blah, 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 blah. And then they have like a couple's lunch. And there is, it feels like a lot of tension with Jeff T and Shanice, but I guess that's been the theme since they've gotten married. Um, and he's kind of like, well, it could be worse. Um, and, um, Jeff D says that he is not going to be pressured to do anything that he doesn't want to do. Womp, womp. And, um, he's not gonna adjust. He's gonna, um, he's gotta, he's gotta, he's got good at being on his own. I guess that's what I was trying to say. He says he's, he's, he's not going to adjust. He's gotten good at being on his own. Or maybe he's saying he gotta adjust because he's gotten too good at being on his own. That boy is only, he, well, he got that baby face, but how old is he? 23, 25? I mean, um, we see Molly is grateful for John, um, seeing Jeff D. And Shanice, oh, Molly, look at Jeff D and Shanice. She's like, well, I'm grateful for John. We get along good. Um, the instructor arrives for their excursion. And I love Ryan's floaties. He's like, I can't swim. So we putting these inflatable things on my arms. His wifey is blowing up the, the inflatable things because she don't want her husband to drown to death. Um, I, I, I thought that was very funny. Um, he, he doesn't, oh, he don't know how to swim and he's not trying to drown here in Ocho Rios. Um, Molly let John on her paddleboard and Molly touched John. So John is feeling very like, you know, optimistic about, you know, where things are heading with their relationship. Um, Shawnice gets cut after Jeffy told her not to get in the water. She get in the water anyway. He cautious. He's like, don't get in the water, but she get in the water and she get cut. And then his butthole, but, and you know, she's basically like, ah, I got cut, help me. And he's like, I told you not to get in the water. And Shanice is like, you know, I don't want to rush him into anything he's not comfortable with. And I'm trying to stay positive, 
but by then he is really starting to wear on me because at first I was kind of like with Shawnice she's like really kind of intense with it but I feel like she has done a good job of trying to dial it back and dial it back and dial it back and this almost starts to feel like she can't dial it back any the the next dial is to leave you know she can't dial it back anymore um so Molly and John and Jackie and Ryan um you know, they're like, well, why Why did you get married at first sight? And Molly is like, you know, I feel like my picker is broken is basically what she was saying. And then Jeffy is like, well, I'm not having fun. He wasn't having fun dating and he's not connecting with anyone. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Jeffy isn't having fun? Jeffy isn't connecting? What a shock. I mean, his non-fun behind and non-connecting, isolate. We're we're strangers. Which it's like he's pushing her away. Um, so anyway, I'm glad that you know. I, I guess the very thing that brought him to married at first sight is the very thing that seems like is making his marriage at first sight kind. Of, the very things is making his marriage at first sight kind of challenging. Um, and John is like, oh, it just seemed like something fun to do. So Molly is kind of like, so you just got married at first. She thinking, you know, I think she said in an interview. So you just got married at first sight because it seemed like something fun to do. Like that seems kind of like, oh, I'll, you know, ride an amusement park ride just because it's fun to do. But getting married doesn't seem like something you just do. Oh, for fun. But anyway, um, Shanice asked if anyone... Um, has had sex yet and um ryan lies and because and, they've been having sex since the wedding night but he feels that it's private um and it's not their business so um just it's not the business of the couple it's just all of us watching on tv because he lies and says no we haven't had sex and he go into this extensive thing he didn't just say no or just not say nothing it was like he was like well we don't feel that we i was like that, that kind of made me feel uncomfortable like it's one thing you know yeah it was like an extensive lie I didn't like it so much um and he's talking all this big stuff and Jacqueline is basically quiet quiet and then in her green screen in her interview Jacqueline says that she's happy that Ryan didn't bring it up um and she says that they'll tell the upper cup other couples when they're both ready to tell the other couples Molly says she's surprised that no one has had sex um she figured that at least one of the couples would have had sex but it does make her feel better um you know, she thought somebody would have consummated. Some idea consummate girl. But anyway, um, then we see Jackie and Ryan and they have gotten a counseling assignment. And Jackie has. Um, so they're talking about like their worst features or something. And Ryan says that one of his worst features is that he talks a lot and he doesn't listen. And Jackie is like, you know, she has noticed his talkativeness and she thinks that it could be a problem down the road. Um, she tells him about her boyfriend dying uh, 1.5 years ago. And he asks if there's anything that he can do to help and she tells him that you know sometimes she gets sad for you know no apparent reason and um he's concerned about the death in this whole situation because this is the first of him hearing about it but he does hug her so his affectations are correct i think he he does the right thing um and then we see um, Jeff D and Shawnice, they're doing the same counseling exercise or whatever exercise they got from the counselors. Um, and he, he says that his biggest flaw is stubbornness. <laughs> yes, he's he like once he now he's locked on to you're a stranger. He not going to let it go. He not going to soften it up. He not going to use no other language. He said, I said, I said what I said. And that's what I said. It's like he locked into it. He don't care if it hurt or feeling because it's true. I'm, he's stubborn. Um and she says that hers is that she shuts down, which surprised me because, you know, I guess I feel like once she shut down, she she seemed like she trying with him and trying with him and trying with him. And I guess once she shut down, it's going to be a wrap because we haven't seen if that's a truly her characteristic. We haven't seen her shut down yet. Um, so I don't know. Um she said, he says that hopefully my pace isn't too slow for her. I can see myself falling for her. I was surprised for him to say that because I hadn't had any indication that he could stand the woman, let alone thought he could fall for her. Um, Jeff says it's just been five days, which, you know, in the whole scheme of things, 
five days is not a lot of time, although it's been five days, basically day and night. Um, but still, you know, I do believe that you get to know people over time and through context and their the time and context has been limited. He has a very cautious personality. So he just he doing the best he can, I guess. Um, Shawnee says she wanted a husband um, so that he could lead and so that she could follow. And um, she but she does feel like she signed up to get a husband, not a friend. So like when they went down the aisle and got married, it was marriage at first sight, not friendship at first sight. So she wants to have a marriage, not like, oh, we're getting to know each other to see, you know, she wants it to be like, we're married, we're husband and wife, and we're husband and wife, we're married. Um, when she's like, you know, because she's in this mindset and trying to have the spirit of following his lead and respecting his stilo, she's like, you know, but we're just strangers. And then he gets so happy when she says that um, she doesn't know him. He high fives her and she doesn't really respond. And then when she high fives him, he doesn't respond. And then, um, you know, she go in the room and it's like kind of like he's wearing me out. And I think he's wearing her out too. We see her crying. I don't know if he's wearing her out, but he rang in her out. It's like, whoa, it's intense with them to me. And he just like, it's like, I'm trying, Mr. Jeffy. I'm trying, and I feel like she's trying too. Um, and I know it's hard on all of us, but come on, bro. Pro, come on, bro, man. Let's get it together. Um, once he said, she says that once we said I do and we walk down the aisle, we are not strangers. Now, I don't know if that's true. You could be married to somebody who's a stranger because y'all don't know each other. Um, how can we jump into something? He's like, how can we jump into something? And she like, we jumped into getting married. And he's like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know why I did this. She's saying that I don't know why I did this. You know, I thought I knew why I did this, but you don't wore me out, bro. I don't know why I did this. I'm about it. And then he leaves and he's like, ah, he's frustrated. We see Jackie and Ryan. This is still day five. They're in bed. It's probably toward the end of the night. Um, and they say that they um, have had ups and downs, but way more ups than downs. And um, they're having a great time getting to know each other. We see Molly and John. They're getting home to their honeymoon suite and they're going over um, their therapy session. And she's happy to be matched with him. And he says that he will do everything to make her happy. And he can see himself falling in love with Molly. So that was married at first sight. Um, I don't know what the episode was called, maybe honeymoons or something, but um, I'm going to shoot it up and then um, I'll probably edit it after I shoot it up. But that's what I got. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, subscribing if you are a subscriber. Um, welcome back. If you are um, been to my channel before, welcome if you haven't before. Again, I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous. You comment, subscribe, share. It don't cost you nothing to like. Just a second to do like that or to com to subscribe, all of that. And that's like, that helps, that helps, you know, me and other small channels. We're small channels. We out here, you know, doing our, doing what we do. If you like what I do, if you like me, give me some love, give me some like, give me some commentary, give me some subscription. I love you. Today is the best day ever. You are the greatest. You're the number one stunner. So be you, be fabulous, be fabulous you. Peace. <laughs>